We see a boy thinking to himself, I am E-rank hunter Sung Jinwoo, if you disregard my slightly abnormal strength and regeneration, it is embarrassing to even call myself a hunter. Of course, I am always getting hurt, and even had a lot of near-death experience. The job where your life is on the line, the hunter, I am not doing this because I like it, I barely pay my sick mother's medical bills with what the hunter's guild pay me. For a normal person with no particular talent, I had no choice but to become a hunter, as Jin Wu enters a construction site where all hunters are gathering for the job, then we see Mr. Kim as someone calls his name, and says, it's been a long time, Mr. Kim says, wait, Bok, what are you doing here, did you not leave because you did not want to become a hunter, and Bok replies, well, my wife is pregnant with our second son, Mr. Kim replies, true, there is nothing like a raid to earn a fortune. As we see Jin Wu entering the area, everyone greets him with smiles, Bok asks Mr. Kim, that man, is he a powerful hunter, everyone is happy to see him, and Mr. Kim replies, you would not know since he came right after you quit, his nickname is the world's weakest, so that means our dungeon will be weak as well, as they kept talking about him, Jin Wu feels embarrassed and thinks, I have been hearing you, old geezers, as he asks for a coffee, but the seller just sold his last cup. He starts to walk away, we hear a girl saying, Jin Wu, you were hurt again, why is your face hurt again? Jin Wu replies, I do not know, it just happened while I was hunting, and she says, really what actually happened, and Jin Wu says, we were in a E-ranked dungeon and I was the only one hurt, the others were all higher ranked so they did not even bring a healer, Jui says, even so, they really did not bring a healer just because they would be safe, and he replies, it is okay, it is only because I am weak, I am used to it, Miss Chui also knows that right, then Jin Wu stands up and says, well looks like everyone is getting ready to go into the gate, let us go as well, then we see a man named Mr. Song saying, we are off to go happy hunting, so I am not really qualified to say this, but I would like to be the party leader for this raid, is that alright with you people? As everyone start to show trust in him and agree to the proposal, and then he says, Alright then, let us enter the dungeon, as they were entering the gate, Mr. Kim says, Jin Wu try not to get injured behind us okay, and they all enter the gate. Then we see inside the dungeon, Juhi healing Jin Wu and saying, why are you so adamant on working as a hunter, fighting like this will only bring even more risk, I am not saying this for an apology, I am just worried, and as other hunters were almost finished to kill all the monsters, Juhi thinks to herself, at least this raid is almost over, and Jui asks Jin Wu, do you have a reason to not quit being a hunter, and he replies, I am just a hunter for fun, if I do not do this I might actually die from boredom, and thinks to himself, telling her my personal reasons will make me even more embarrassed, and Juhi replies, looks like having fun two times will send you raiding in the afterlife, and then we see Mr. Song holding something and saying, this is what you get after killing a monster, the magical core, a magical core from even a C-rank monster is worth thousands. However, since Jin Wu was an E-rank hunter, C-rank monsters were impossible for him, Jin Wu while holding a smaller magical core in his hand, he thinks to himself, after all my injuries and troubles, I only earned a single E-rank magical core, considering I put my life on the line to earn this, it is too small. We see someone shouting from behind, hey everyone there is another entrance there, as they all start to look at the cave, Mr. Song says, the double layer, looks like it is actually real, and shoots a fire projectile inside the cave to check its depth, and says, everyone listen to me for a moment, the gate does not close if the boss is still alive, since the gate is still open, it seems the boss is inside there, usually we would need to contact our guild and await their orders, but if the other hunters get to it first, our profits would dwindle. So I wish for all of us to go kill the boss, since it could be dangerous. Why do we not all take a vote, and no complaining after the vote results? Some of them agree and some disagree, making it a tie, last vote will be the tiebreaker, which depends on Jinwa's decision. He thinks to himself, I do not have enough money, soon, I even need to send my little sister to college and for my sick mother. Then he shouts, I am going. As they enter the cave, Jin Wu says, hey, sorry for forcibly coming here after I voted yes. She says, I am fine, so do not worry about me, to be honest, no I am definitely not okay. And she starts yelling, are you insane, just now if you had been stabbed a little above, you would have a hole in your heart, and that is not even considering your arms and legs, even though I barely healed them. Jin Wu thinks to himself, it's true, I am only alive because Miss Juhi is a B rank healer, I am in her debt yet again. And then Jui says, if you are that sorry, how about treating me to some food, Jin Wu gets surprised and starts blushing, and Jui says, what, you do not like eating with me? We hear someone shouting, it is here, the boss room. 
As they reach in front of a big door, Mr. Kim says, I have never seen a room with this type of door before, it is strange, is this place not dangerous? Then we see, Mr. Song saying, are you going to return empty-handed after coming here? We could be the first ones to enter this dungeon, those who want to leave can go. I am going in there alone if I must. As we all know humans are greedy, so everyone follows him inside the door. Inside they see a big room with many large statues. As they all look around the room, one of them yells, Mr. Song, something is written here, I think you need to come. They all gather around a winged statue holding a tablet in runic text. Mr. Song translates it saying, let's see, Carthanon Temple's commandments. First, worship the Lord. Second, praise the Lord. Third, prove your faith. Those who do not follow these commandments, will never return alive. Juhi suddenly gets scared and says, Hey, Jinwoo, there that huge statue, its eyeball just moved, it was looking at us. Jinwoo notices something and thinks, Wait, what is this feeling? It got quiet that the air seems chilly, and the door they entered from suddenly gets shut on its own. One of the hunter comes forward and says, You guys are all spouting nonsense, it was a mistake to even come here. I am leaving, the boss, treasured, whatever, you guys can take it as he tries to open the door. Mr. Song yells, stop, do not put your hands on the handle. The statue on the side of door kills the hunter in one swing. Everyone gets scared to watch the statue move. Jin Wu thinks to himself, what was the rank of the guy who just got killed? Rank D, whatever it was, he has to be stronger than an E ranker like me. But he got killed in a single blow. This is supposed to be a D rank dungeon at best. No one said anything about it crawling with terrifying monsters like these. Mr. Song says, if these status can move, can that thing move too, as they all look at the largest statue there. When Jin Wu looks at it, statue's eyes start moving. In a flashback, Jin Wu thinks, this was not my first close brush with death, I got lost after getting separate with my party during my first raid. Not to mention getting hospitalized for weeks after a measly Yi rank monster slashed me in the back. There was that other time, when I almost starved to death after getting trapped inside a labyrinth. Although these were all relatively easy dungeons, I had to risk my life each time. Putting up with all the ridicule, bruised and broken bones, risking my life in the most inefficient attempt at making a living and perhaps because of that, I could tell right away. And he yells, everyone get down. As the statue starts to shoot lasers from its eyes. As they all recover from it, we see Mr. Song yelling, Evie one stay down, it will attack us again if we stand up. He asks Jin Wu, did you know what was about to happen? Jin Wu replies, I just felt it might be dangerous. Jin Wu notices one of Mr. Song's arm was cut off, and he says, I will live, just help me stop the bleeding would you? Mr. Song asks, what do you think is the rank of that thing? Jin Wu replies, I do not know, I have never been on any raids above rank D before. And Mr. Song says, even B rank monsters do not have skills capable of insta-kill. That thing might be rank A or even rank S. As they figure out that the god referred in the tombstone was that thing, Mr. Song says, looks like it is just a matter of time before we all get wiped out. Jin Wu asks Mr. Song, are you going to be okay, your arms bleeding is not stopping? Mr. Song replies, what choice do I have, we only brought three healers, because this was supposed to be an easy job, but one has been already torn apart so badly, we cannot even find his body, the other one is cowering in the corner like that. Even Jui, she probably never saw anything like this, so yeah, I do not think anyone is going to be healing me right now. All I know is that it is probably not a good idea to fight that thing head on, Let's just figure out how to get the hell out of here, although that won't be so easy either. Jin Wu thinks about the situation and figures out that, this place was designed to keep everyone trapped in the first place. As one of the hunter tries to run away, thinking, speed is one of my best abilities, I will dash through the door in no time. As soon as he gets closer to the gate, a laser beam from behind incinerates him leaving behind only his feet. Looking at that Jin Wu thinks, they can kill us all at any moment if they want to. But why did they not? They are not like the other monsters that just start charging at hunters. The gatekeeper attacks when you get close to the door. The giant statue attacks anyone who moves with its eyes. There is a pattern to their attacks, as if there are certain rules. And he realizes the rules he was thinking about were the commandments written on the tombstone. And he says, Mr. Song there are rules in this dungeon. 
Reason why they attack is not because we are moving. As Jin Wu stands up in front of the statue, and he realizes that, the statue attacks when you move past a certain height, and tells Evie one to bow down in front of the statue. The expressions of the statue suddenly changes into a creepy one. As everyone try to relax thinking they are safe, the statue moves and stands up. As Jin Wu says the second commandment was to praise the Lord, one of the hunter comes out saying I was a member of a church choir. He starts praising the statue, but the statue comes closer and stumps on the hunter killing him. Everyone starts to panic as the statue goes on a rampage of stomping on anyone he can see. One of the hunter goes near a statue in the corner thinking he is safe, but the statue suddenly slices him in two pieces. As Jin Wu was running away he thinks, how can we praise this lord, that is the devil here. As Jin Wu starts to analyze the situation, his eyes locks onto a statue with musical instrument making him think, do they attack with instruments too? And he yells, everyone run towards the statues with instruments. As they start standing in front of those statues music starts playing and hunters are able to take a breath of relief. But when Jin Wu and Juhi stand under a similar statue no music comes out, making Jin Wu think, could it be the two people cannot stay underneath the same statue? As he leaves Juhi there and runs away to look for other instrument statue. As Jin Wu notices one he runs towards it as other statues try to attack him, but he realizes too late that it was shield not an instrument, and the statue attacks Jin Wu, as he gets injured he still tries to look for a safe statue and he crawls as he holds onto a thread that kept him from dying, and to his luck he makes it to an instrument statue, then we see Juhi running towards Jin Wu, as she looks at him, tears comes out of her eyes as she notices that Jin Wu's leg has been cut off. Juhi uses her magic to heal Jin Wu's leg. But suddenly her nose starts bleeding due to excessive use of magic, then we see other hunters saying, at least he survived, and Mr. Kim tells Mr. Song, it is unfortunate that you lost your arm but this is all because you made a rash decision as a party leader making him feel embarrassed. The statue suddenly does something and an altar emerges from the ground. Jin Wu connects the situation thinking, last commandment was, prove your faith, that means that altar is for a sacrifice or something. Mr. Kim pulls out his weapon aiming at Mr. Song saying, if someone must be sacrificed it must be you, who brought us here. Mr. Kim agrees saying, I must take responsibility, I want to go by myself, so please take your weapon away from me. Mr. Song starts walking towards the altar as he reaches there, a single flame emerges. As Jin Wu gets surprised by this he says, can someone help me go to the top of the altar? As they reach there more flames come to light. And Jin Wu asks, do you think anyone will save us if we stay here? Mr. Song replies, today is the one week mark after the gate was opened and Jin Wu thinks, the gate opens up completely after seven days, monsters can come through if the gate is still open. Raids have the purpose of killing the boss and closing the gate before the seven day limit. If we fall now, it means that monster can come to our world. As more people join up on the altar something happens to the altar mechanism and it deactivated the seal on the door make it open again. As the hunters think, what now, can we leave, but they are skeptical, and they notice that, all of the statues are moving towards them now.